single entry system for payment and receipt this presentation will give you an overview on using single entry system for payment and receipt in single entry mode for payment and receipt you need to select the payment receipt mode that is cash or bank and specify the affected account you do not need to remember and specify the debit credit aspect for the affected account thus this reduces the burden in such a way that you only need to know whether the voucher you are entering is a payment or receipt voucher however if you disable this feature then you need to enter payment receipt voucher in the traditional way that is you need to specify two accounts and the debit credit aspect of the accounts thus you need to remember the debit credit aspect of the transactions to enable this feature click administration configuration features options account tab in account tab you need to enable the single entry system for payment and receipt vouchers option on enabling this option you would be able to enter payment receipt vouchers in single entry system however if this option is disabled that is you are working in double entry system and you have entered a payment or receipt voucher for double entry system then you cannot enable this option that is once a voucher for double entry system is entered then you cannot roll back it and come to single entry system however vice versa is possible if you have entered vouchers in single entry system and want to come back to double entry system then you can enable this option click save button to save the configuration now we will enter a payment voucher in the payment voucher first of all we have selected the voucher series as main specified the date and have selected the payment mode here we have selected the payment mode as cash now we will specify the other accounts that are affected in this voucher that is the accounts for which we have made the payment in cash first of all we have selected the staff welfare expenses that is 1500 rupees is being paid for staff welfare expense petty cash expense 800 rupees have been paid for petty cash expense then is your postal expenses 150 rupees and the printing and stationery charges that is 400 rupees for printing and stationery so here you can see that we have specified the payment mode as once that is cash and then have specified the accounts which have been affected that is for which the payment has been made this is basically single entry system in case of double entry system you need to specify which accounts are debited and which accounts are credited in the voucher hope after going through this presentation you would be able to easily use single entry system for payment and receipt in busy thanks for watching for more videos subscribe to our youtube channel